Welcome to my next hotel that I'll be staying for the next three nights and it's called Aero Hotel. It's located nearby Intramuros and also Manila Bay. I mean, there's like you can walk there just less than one kilometer away from it, so it's very near. Based on my initial impression of coming to this, like when entering this room, it isn't that great. Like I see from the Agoda, the pictures that oh, this look nice and all that. But when I turn out, when I go into the room, it's like, wow, it's a totally different thing. And <laughs> it's not what I expected. I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So this is how the room looks like. Pretty normal, as you can see. But the floor here is pretty creaky. And I think got one of it. Uh, it's not in a very good condition this part can you see it so yeah um, talking about the beds they are fine a bit uh, not not comfortable as the myspace hotel day yeah I can't stop bringing that up but the experience of staying there is um, it's very very great I would say yeah, and then you got a desk here which is too low for my opinion I don't really like it and then they have this um, I don't know, it's a weird thing, weird gap in between. So it's kind of weird if I can't place my mouse here though, because of this thing. So they got like a breakfast place as well, Astoria. You can see, or you can order the food from there and they will I think, like deliver it, deliver it to your room. And you got some few information here as well. As you can see, Astoria Manila, and then they got the buffet breakfast. I when I book the room, uh, I don't book it with the breakfast that is included because it's quite costly, especially this uh, double standard room. It can cost up to thirty five USD if it include with the breakfast. So yeah, it's pretty pricey and. Not really that great. Uh, and see the design for this one is pretty weird. Like, why this? <laughs> uh, yep, here and another one over here. I can do hide and seek, man. See? And this is the bathroom. I guess it's fine, except for this small thing. What the heck? So small, yo. And then, yeah, I got this kind of shower head. But my main gripes with comes to the bathroom is this: you can't even close it. At first, it's like, oh, maybe I can like um, pull this. But apparently, it's not. It's like it's totally like this. So I want to completely close it. I have to use this curtain. So yeah, it's like this. So it's half close. And if you can hear, if I go inside, it's very, very noisy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me if I'm very, very tired. But for those who, who is a light sleeper, the sun might bother you though. So what else have to say? Oh uh, yeah. There's a Bible here. Well, it's very rare to see it's in a hotel. And then open up here. There is the place, Astoria. There is the restaurant. Like uh, any, like you want, if you want to have your breakfast and all that, you can go to that side. It's very near. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not my worst experience. Uh, not sure. Maybe, maybe it is for that price. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much uh, sum up my overall opinion about this room. Not really that great. Here we are, guys. We are at I don't know what street this call. 
but it's somewhere near Intramuros. For now, I'm just going to find some place to eat. I have a place in mind, it's called Max, if I ask. Yeah, Max restaurant. They serve uh, Filipino cuisine. At least that I was told when I was like uh, riding in a cab. And then the, the cab driver told me, oh, you should try a restaurant called Max because they serve like a lot of uh, Filipino food there. So yeah, I'm curious to try it out. Let's see what do they have. So here's a few look of this uh, part of the area. It is no BGC, that's all I can say. <laughs> So expect the road to be a bit, I'll say this, not that great condition. Thanks, Plata. As well as there's some uh, rubbish going on. And I'm not mistaken, there's quite a lot of like homeless people also here. But it should be fine, it should be fine. I don't think it'll be that dangerous. Especially if you like uh, go around in the morning, it should be fine. Uh, so far the weather, I hope it doesn't rain though. Because like normally December, it tend to rain a lot. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. So yeah, what do you think of this place? I'm planning to like go to one of the, it's called this a theme park. Hopefully the footage is uh, quite stable. Because I'm not using my camera rig right now. I'm using the octopus tripod. So I'm trying to uh, make the footage stable as best as I can by holding it stiff. Ah, there it is. Sorry, Max Restaurant. Where is the entrance? This is one. Things this one. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So this is the place. Oh, this is the menu. Hello. Yeah, dine in here. Okay. Sure. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna go around here. Alright, so this is the menu that they have. Oh, I think they have like um, different type of Filipino food. Wait, is it using flash? What the heck? Okay, never mind. Maybe because I said it auto. Anyway, um, so this is the menu. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with. In terms of price, it's, uh, it's a bit pricey though for me. Whew. Yeah. But it's okay, at least I just like uh, eat here once only. So, there's more over here. Oh man, they got Sinigang. It's around 529. Oh, dang it. I'm trying not to spend so much though. So. Oh, shoot. Sinikang, Sinikang. Ah. Okay, let's see. Kare kare. Tofu. Oh, Long Piang Ubot. I'm gonna go order one of these. Um, and what else? Chicken. chicken. Um, yeah, definitely you want to go with the hello, 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 or we will, however you want to call it. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me just take a look at the menu, then we'll see what I want to order. Alright, so this is the food that I order. Got the pork sisik here, got the lumpiang ubot, and one sili gang. So huge the size, you can see. So this one is with the baboy. The baboy is the one with the pork. So yeah, 
Let's try. All right, let's try the food. Ooh. Very anxious. See how it tastes. Oh, but the pork is sick. Let's see, I feel like tuna in some way. Yeah, it tastes like tuna in some way. Oh, I forgot to put the lime to make it sour. For my side, it's like a pork jaw, which is the cheek or the ear. I'm not sure which one is referring to which one. But overall, I like it though. It's like, because I put the lime, right? So it's a bit of sour. So it's some spicy going on. Some spicy taste. Can you taste chili? You can see? Yeah. Now let's try the soup. Yeah, it's really like Prince of the Gold. Wow. That's a lot of baboy though. From what I search, <coughs> Sinigang mostly they use is like a. I think it's tamarind. I forgot. Some sort of a plant that make it like. Uh, give it no sour taste. And the pork is so soft. A bit chewy, but it's very soft. It's nice. The sinigang is the main highlight of the dish. Oh man. And the next one I'm going to try is the Lung Pong. Lung Pong. Oh man, I forgot how to pronounce the name. Something like Lung Pong Ubot. Yeah. Sorry if I butcher the name, but let's try. And they have this like. I don't know, it's just some kind of sauce. Hopefully you guys can see. So I'm going to dip it and see how it tastes. <laughs> like some sort of a vinegar. Some sense. Yeah, it's a bit soury. As you can see inside there's a lot of veggie. I need to focus. Yeah, I like it. It's like a um, Filipino spring roll. You have the option of um, whether you want it fresh or fry. I'm going to fry because I like the crunchiness, of the, you know, the texture, and all that when it comes to the spring roll. I always like the fried spring roll. It's well seasoned. There's a lot of veggie inside. Mm -hmm. It's very healthy, you see. <laughs> Apart from that, being it fried, yeah, if you order it fresh, and yeah, it's much more healthier that way. But nonetheless, it's very good. Um, I like the sinigang the most. So it comes to all all the dishes. Definitely want, need to try it out if you come here. Okay, after finishing my food. I have my dessert. This is called Hello Hello. Hello Hello. Yeah. As you can see, there's a bunch of like uh, fruits and some sweet on the bottom. And we got a yam here on top. Yeah, as well as some um, cream in the middle. Some milk and all that. So let's try the Hello Hello starting from the top. Mmm. like the yam so a bit of like topping as well on the top i think it's like too small for me they have a large size but um it costs uh extra 100 peso which i <laughs> don't want to spend so much so yeah the sinigang for me is like quite costly already. it's almost 600 peso so it's kind of hard for me to like the one on the bottom because there's so many eyes especially on the middle so I think you have to like eat from the top first then from there you can just scoop it out bottom yeah it's unfortunately it's, there's so much ice in the middle it's kind of hard for me to actually bring it up up but at least you can like somehow stir it so see at the bottom come like this mix in with the the milk all that so yeah 
that's how it's supposed to eat the halo halo. You start from eating from the top first, then if you can, you just begin to mix it. Then you eat the one that's at the bottom. The one. Okay, after struggling so hard trying to get the uh, all the jelly on the bottom, finally got it. See, I'm sure you can see uh, some jelly here. Mm. But mostly what I taste on the bottom is the jelly itself. And if not mistaken, there's, uh, I think there's cheese also. I think this is the cheese. Please, let me try. Holy crap. It is cheese. Some sort of a cheese. And then you got some, um, I think this is red bean. Doesn't look like some sort of a nut. Yeah, it says like a red bean. It's like sticky and all that glutinous type. I like it a lot. It's a unique kind of drink. Comes to like um, Filipino cuisine. Like a dessert. It's my favorite, I would say. Alright, I just have my lunch and I would say it tastes really great. All the food, all that. But though it's kind of pricey, uh, I think it's because I spend mostly on the Sinigang itself. Yeah, it costs most around 600 pesos and all that. And on top of that, I order the spring rolls and the sisig as well as the hello hello it's, it's quite a lot of spending for one person but yeah it's around like 1k peso <laughs> i gotta stop spending so much you see and right now um i'm just gonna head back to my hotel first so yeah i'm going to rest up and then i think around one then i'm gonna continue my journey maybe go to the resort park there by the, the team park team park something like manila ocean park yeah um, there's a lot of like a street food around here which you guys can see so yeah uh, i'm not sure if i want to try it i'll just see how it goes but yeah, it's very convenient though, the way that I stay. <coughs> There's even like a laundry services just beside it. Yeah. That church. Catholic school, this one. Oh, it's a church. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, going a bit fun and I have reached my hotel. I'll see you guys in a bit.